I was doing something called Swedish death cleaning. Look it up. If you're over 45, you should do it. It will change your life. And I came across an old note that I wrote to myself, helical sweet to create helical curve. I have no idea why I wanted to or needed to create a helical curve from a helical sweet, but I found a method in the PTC knowledge base. So let's take a look at it. First off, I am going to create the sketch for the profile of my helical curve. Let's, or my helical suite. Let's select the datum plane that we want to sketch on, then click the sketch tool from the mini toolbar. Let me go to my sketch view and let me turn off my datum plane display in order to unclutter the screen. And first I'm going to put in my center line for my axis of rotation. And then for my sketch, I'll use the right mouse button to get to the line tool. I'm gonna to make three segments. Let me select here and then here and then out again. Oh, let me pan everything down. I'm gonna have it snap to be vertically aligned with the start point. And so now we can start dimensioning this. Let's create a dimension from here to here, picking left and then middle mouse button. Let's try that again. Let's hit the dimension and I'll dimension from here to here and then middle mouse button. And let's type in 600. Not sure what was going on before. And then here to here and then middle mouse button. Now let's make that 400. And then we'll make this value from here to here, left mouse buttons. And then middle mouse button to locate the dimension, 200. And for my dimensions, I like to get diameter dimensions, so I will click left, 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 and then middle mouse button. And this dimension, let's make it a value of 300, and then let's do left, 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 and then middle mouse button. I'll make this a value of 150. And I am happy with that sketch. Let me hit the middle mouse button to get out of dimension creation mode. Then I can use the right mouse button and hold to get to the check mark to complete the sketch. And I recommend that you create the sketch first rather than creating it within the helical sweep feature just to make it a little more parametric for what you're going to do later on. So now let's create our helical sweep. I will go to the sweep drop down. Here is the helical sweep command. And for our helix profile, I will select my sketch that I'd previously selected. We are automatically getting a pitch of 60, which is the initial height divided by 10. You can change that value if you want. And I'm happy with the start point. Let's create our sketch for our section. And for this one, I will use the right mouse button to get to my sketch tools and just sketch in a circle. Let's make it, oh, that's way too big. Let's make this a diameter of 20. That is good. Once again, I will use right mouse button and hold to get to the check mark to complete the sketch. And there you can see my helical sweep that will end up getting created. I'm happy with that. Let's hit the middle mouse button. And right now we do not have a curve going through the middle of it. Here is the trick to doing that. We are going to create a second helical sweep but it's going to have a different sketch. Let's go to the sweep dropdown and create a helical sweep once more. And for our helix profile, this time since the sketch is grayed out, I'm just gonna pick it right out of the model tree. And once again, we're getting a pitch of 60. And now we're going to create our section. I can get to that from the right mouse button. In the mini toolbar, you have an icon for getting to the sketch command. And then for our sketch, the trick is you are going to create just a line, but you wanna make sure that it is located on the center of your start for your trajectory. And I'm gonna make it, I'm gonna exaggerate, I'm gonna have it go beyond the uh, diameter of the circle that I sketched. Let's make this a value of 20. And I'm gonna right mouse click and hold to hit the check mark. And let's make sure that we are going to generate this as a non-solid feature, create it as a surface. Now you can see the preview of what we're going to get. 
I'm happy with that. I will hit the check mark. And so now we have a second helical sweep that uses the same profile as the first. Of course, you could do this with a variable pitch if you wanted to as well. But now here is the trick for getting the curve. I'm going to change the selection filter in the lower right hand corner to edge. Just make sure that I'm only capable of picking edges. And now we're going to pick the edge of that second sweep. And then you'll notice it's not getting the whole entire thing. I'm going to hold down the shift key and here we're getting the one by one chain. Let me try to get the, here it's giving me from two boundary loop. That is fine. I will select the entire thing, but you could also use the shift key to build up a curve chain. And if you're wondering, Hey, is it three segments because I made three segments in the original sketch? Nope. I actually tried this with using a straight line as the profile, and I still ended up with three different segments in my helical sweep. But anyhow, I've selected the inside edges of that surface I created. Now we're just going to copy and then paste. We have the exact or approximate options. We will leave it as exact and then hit the check mark. And now if I hide the second helical sweep, which is a surface feature, then I can make the body transparent. Let me expand design items and bodies and then select the body from the mini toolbar. This will make it transparent. And you can see that we indeed have a curve going through the middle of that. Let me go back to my selection filter and just change it to geometry and we can select, where is it? Get, get it curve. You can select the curve and then right mouse click and hold and go to properties if you want. If you want to change the color to be something brighter and more visible and we can apply and close. And so there you can see that's how you can generate a curve, a helical curve going through a helical sweep. If you have a use case for this, let me know in the comments. Again, I have no idea why I wrote down that note to myself, helical sweep to create helical curve. Let me know.